Hello, fellow human being. Hi, how you doing? And today we're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season four, episode seven. Also, yes, um, I was picking at my chin for some reason, and uh, yeah, now I have a scab on it. Don't mention it, please. <laughs> I wanted to record today, and then um, love it. I love it. Uh, you know, the universe just hates me. So as you can see, I made a change to the board. Um, we only got one man on the board now. Um, hopefully, um, he can help restore my faith in the male kind. And also my quote of the day, um, I didn't know what to put because uh, the last episode was sad, um, but I kind of like went through the episode kind of to try and find my quote of the day and I remembered that Spike wasn't in a scene at near the beginning and <laughs> got cut off a little bit as you can see, but yeah, I'm very, very excited to see if Spike is in this episode. I think he might be because there was a setup in the last episode. And was he kidnapped by the random people that we keep seeing? I think so. You know, the people in like camo and like re like equipment and stuff that are like running around campus hunting monsters like Buffy. Very excited to see if we get more info on that. Ah, I'm so excited. It's been like two weeks since I've watched the last episode just because um I've been feeling kind of like a burnout, like yeah, so I wanted to take a break, but I'm so excited to just watch Buffy, my favorite show ever. And yeah, so what's this episode called? The Initiative. Exciting. <laughs> Isn't that like a frat thing? Um, I think so. Um, yeah, maybe we'll get some of that. I don't know. It's fun. Fun, you know, just starting the episode having no idea what's gonna happen, you know? But yeah, obviously, like I already mentioned, Spike, I think, will be in this episode. Um, yeah. And speaking of the last episode, I forgot to mention. Um, yeah, so I thought while watching, I, like, at the end, I was like, okay, so since he's still a regular, you know, Oz, the actor Seth Green, I was like, oh, okay, um, he might, you know, have a couple episodes off screen and then he'll come back and they'll just be friends maybe or just, I don't know, he'll work together with Buffy still since, you know, he's a werewolf and it's monsters and stuff. But yeah, apparently a bunch of people commented and they were like, oh yeah, this is because Seth Green wanted to like make more movies instead of um, you know, be on set to, like, say one line and then just go home. Like, that kind of sucks. And, you know, that- understandable. And apparently, like, Joss wrote this ending for him, which it wasn't in the story to begin with, so that's why it kind of felt a little wonky, which- understandable. But- now I'm scared that Oz is never gonna be coming back because you guys were like, oh yeah, he's out. I'm like, no, please. <laughs> like, I wanted some sort of redemption for him. I hope they do have a redemption for him. Uh, but knowing TV shows that have a producer that have a little drama with one of the actors, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, the same kind of thing happened on Supernatural. Spoilers for season 11, I think? <laughs> I don't know. 11 plus, you know, they're all the same after that. Mark Shepard, the guy that plays Crowley, uh, he kind of had some issues with Andrew Dabb and some of the producers, and that's why his ending is the way that it was. And it kind of was anticlimactic, and it was like, why would Crowley ever do that? That's not in his character. It's because it isn't. It's because they wanted a way to write off the character. So now with that information, it does make a little bit more sense why they did what they did, but still, I would love a redemption with him, and I would love to see him again. Only time will tell. Only me watching more of the show will tell. And I'm also curious if he's still in the credits like, the little credit title card? I don't know. Maybe, like, after a mid-season finale or, like, after they get off, like, the mid-season hiatus, maybe they'll take him off? I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, I've been talking a lot. Let's just get into it. Women. Young. Each one a mystery waiting to be unlocked. Uh, I kind of already hate this. How are you going to learn anything if you keep doing schoolwork? Oh. <laughs> Chuck, is she hot or is she hot? <laughs> and Buffy, She's fuck Buffy. it up! Buffy. Oh, I, I love her so like much. That. No, I mean, 
She's come on, right, bud. Come on. There's definitely something off about her. Maybe she's Canadian. What you is this conversation? <laughs> well, I'm not denying she's easy on the eyes. I'm just saying. Oh. Would you really want to go out with her? Hell yes. Bet a lot of guys would like to get their hands on her. Slayer. Uh... Spike? Are you in the afterlife? What is this? <laughs> is he invisible? I'm sorry. Is he actually- oh, okay. <laughs> it, the way it looked, it looked like he was invisible and I was very- <laughs> But it's a reflection. <gasps> okay, okay, my brain needs to chill. What? No way. <gasps> what? Wait, wait, so they capture monsters and then they keep them in- I'm sorry, that is the coolest shit ever. Wait. This beginning seems a little different than normal. Did, is anyone else hearing? Like, it's a little different. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! They added Spike as- They added Spike as a- I'm so excited right now! Um, Oh, so he's a little artist. I am going to a party tonight. Hopefully a no fighting, no biting kind of deal. Oh, she fucking it up! Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go find something slutty to wear tonight. Yes, Buffy. <laughs> I'm so excited about this! And so like, he's a regular now. So like, is this gonna be like a subplot? And we'll have like intel on the inside? I don't know, I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> That's where they do the experiments. And uh, they are the government, Nazis, the major cosmetics company. Who cares? <laughs> All I know is one minute I'm running for the Slayer, and the next thing I'm here. The Slayer! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, so she he thinks that she's a part of this? That bitch got so funny. Wised up a bit. Fine! She's. Okay. <laughs> I don't care how brilliant she is. Stupid pen. <laughs> My notes. All points can be tricky. <laughs> I hear he dropped out. Oh, well, you heard way wrong then. I mean, he's not gone. He, he left temporarily. You guys, I'm gonna cry. Work out a few things. <laughs> I assure you, Oz will be back. The title That's sequence tells me different, huh? <laughs> An educated guess. You know the rules, you know I hate exceptions. Okay, chill and yet out, somehow girl. you You know, for someone who teaches human behavior, I might try showing some. <laughs> it's not I my mean, job to coddle my students. I mean, you right. can just be empathetic a little bit. Has nothing to do with your job. Buffy, fuck it up. I like her. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, but she's nuts. Oh, come on, like you never wanted what to tell the a frisbee wrong. indoors. Hey, Do I? Boris, what's up, man? What's the scoop on Buffy Summers? Is she cool? Oh, Buffy? Not this bitch she's again! Right, yes. I'm kind of whiny. Oh, my How's God. That? I well, hope it's been chokes. Oh, clean. I mean, we got Fuck a off! Fully physical. Oh, my God. I mean, oh, you, you hit like that? Fuck off! Up. I hate want to kill this dude so much. Later on. You know the difference between a freshman girl and a toilet seat. The toilet seat doesn't follow you around after you use it. I love this dude! I hit him. What the hell for? Good! <laughs> he was just being so crude. He was being an asshole! I just didn't like hearing him talk about Buffy that way. I think that... Well, I guess I like it. <laughs> you knew that I had feelings for him. Everybody knows, man. He's like, we knew, and the viewers at home knew. You're good. <laughs> oh. <gasps> this is such a weird episode. With, like, this. And then the other plot is about Buffy getting with him. I love it. Oh, is he faking? He's probably faking. Sorry. <gasps> oh my god! Go see you go. Uh, yeah, no, no. <gasps> okay, I thought he was gonna, like, rip out his throat. <laughs> is he?
And it looks so cool. Oh, oh. Willow. <laughs> Gee, I hope I'm not interrupting anything really depressing. <laughs> my parents walking into my room. <laughs> I don't know that much about Buffy, but I'm interested in what she likes. <laughs> and just give me a clue. To... Here, let me help you with that. <laughs> just something that'll start us talking, you know? That was thinking, such a funny guy. Until the day one of you leaves and rips the still beating heart from the other, who's now a broken, hollow mockery of the human condition. Ooh, Willow, um, this is projecting. Uh, yep, that's the plan. <laughs> I figured. I'm not your accomplice. No, no, <laughs> we're not. I'm not. You're not. We're clear. We're clear. <laughs> is that Spike? She's still there. Your man is. <laughs> Back, <laughs> screaming in silence, never knowing which thought might be your last. Oh, shut up, Giles. <laughs> Giles, not taking any shit. Oh. <laughs> it's mostly dancing like contact, but don't push your luck. Heavy conversations out of the question. I, um... So, what do I do? I love this. If you hurt her, I will beat you to death with a shovel. <laughs> Oh, he's going right on in. Oh my god. Ow! You sissy kicker! Oh my god, the slow mo. Oh my god, this poor dude. Business. Right. Uh, excuse us. No problem. Oh no. Nice guys always finish last, should have known that. Denied. <laughs> it's not like she blew oh. me off. She just left with another guy. So, I need you downstairs anyway. For what? Protecting you, buddy. Like, I'm gonna see you mooning over some freshmen for the sorry. next three months. I'm sorry, what is this? I like no you Grand. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. That's what gives me the strength to put up with this comedian. <laughs> Problem is, I'm sorry. What kind of girl is gonna go out this is guys? so casual for them. Like what? Joke and turns all demon hunter by night. Maybe a peculiar one. Oh, so they're made for each other. <laughs> <laughs> so they work for some like people that study monsters. Gentlemen, suit up. We have. A I'm sorry. Room. What? Dude, I. This is the coolest. Imagine they run into Buffy. The creature has every advantage right now. Fail to recapture and everything. <laughs> oh Gentlemen, my god. I thought it was like three people. I literally thought it was like three people that were just like, oh, I know about monsters. What if we like hunted monsters together? I didn't think it was like a secret agent base. What? So I wonder if Riley's actually gonna see Buffy or if this is gonna be something that's gonna like continue on. Hello Spike, what you doing? Oh my god, and Willow's gonna be in the room and then Spike, ah, Spike. Hello. Oh, Spike. <laughs> How I love your character, but uh, it just means danger for the other characters that I love, so. <laughs> oh my god, is it Buffy? Is it Buffy? Oh, it's Buffy. Well, I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to you after the party. You left so fast. I love you know, this so much. With your friend. Far away now. Shoo. Are you drunk? Yes. Go and report me. I'm taking you home. Oh, and oh, oh no. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Oh come on. Storm walls are so thin. How is it? <laughs> um. I don't understand. This sort of thing's never happened to me before. <laughs> I'm sorry. How? What? Doesn't this happen to every vampire? Not to me, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. This fucking show, it's I swear. Me. He didn't want to bite me, I just happened to be around. Piffle. 
What is oh, happening no. right now? Is she oh, getting no. upset? Ooh, you're like a sister. <laughs> oh, you're such a good friend. Don't be ridiculous. I'd bite you in a heartbeat. <laughs> Don't patronize me. <laughs> I, that was uh, probably Thank one of my favorite love. scenes I've ever seen. Contain this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Can he not see her? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. The implant works. Hostile 17 can't harm any living creature in any way without intense neurological pain. Can't feed, oh. can't hardly even hit anymore. Okay, so it was them that now Spike can't bang out. Okay. Did Willow tell you I like cheese? You're a little peculiar. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay i'm just gonna say that this episode it um i don't know it kind of just made me more excited to watch this show because not gonna lie so far it's been um for the season it's been okay you know nothing astronomical nothing like i don't know nothing that wants me to keep watching if that makes sense like each episode has been pretty good but nothing nothing like this where are you ki are you kidding me this this season is gonna be so fucking cool if they keep this up and then like the huge like reveal that riley works for this company and that puppy is a fucking vampire slayer i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait oh my gosh because like i've said in my angel talk um, I kind of theorized that, um, Angel revealing that he's a vampire to, um, Katie, that's gonna be a big moment for them and a big moment for their kind of relationship and how they view each other. So, I'm looking forward to that because I feel like that's gonna be such a dramatic moment for the season and for the entire show, basically, for them. And for this, it's the same exact thing, just... With Buffy being a vampire slayer and then Riley. Are you kidding me? I. Oh my god. The reveal of. I cannot believe it. Okay, the reveal. Dude, them. Oh my. It was so casual. And it was so perfect. I can't. Like them walking down the hall and then. um, What's his name? Uh. I forget his name, but uh, one of the guys was like, oh yeah, we need you downstairs. And Riley's like, okay. They get their faces scanned. They go into an elevator. I, that was such a cool thing to do. Oh my God. I, I don't know. I'm just like the kind of person that like, I love, um, I don't know. This is kind of weird, but like, I love conspiracy theories and I love like, finding out about bigger things that are happening under the scenes and uh, like that are under wraps that are, aren't known by many people and all these average people are in on it and like finding it finding out about that th it just was such a cool thing for the show to do for Riley's character because like they could have easily just done you know oh it's a love interest oh no but can buffy be with a regular guy no i don't know it kind of puts him in danger uh oh but they i'm so excited and i'm also really excited because like this actually means that they actually kind of have a chance you know if the reveal goes over well um because both of them fight monsters so it doesn't really put one at a disadvantage and doesn't put the other in danger really because they both know how to fight monsters if that makes sense dude i'm so excited and then oh my god the scene near the beginning where they were talking to parker oh my god that scene made my blood boil <laughs> oh my god and the fact that he just <laughs> straight up was like okay i'm gonna punch this bitch iconic honestly <laughs> are giles and riley the only men ever probably <laughs> I mean, I don't know Riley that well, but, but I just, I love his character so much already, and I'm excited to see more of it. <laughs> oh my god! 
it. So yeah, we also have the professor, I forget her name, but the psychology professor is in on like the whole thing. And it looks like she's like a main, like, researcher, I guess? What are they even researching on them? That's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like it might be more neuroscience rather than psychological um, evaluations on them because of what the- they said he had an implant in Spike that whenever he tries to bite someone, I think, he has a neurological, like, something. Um, so very interesting. And then, of course, seeing Spike this episode. Okay, okay, first of all, first of all, Spike is now a reoccurring character. A reoccurring character. <gasps> Dude, I'm so excited. I can't even put into words how excited I was when I saw James' name come up. Bro, I am so into it. I'm so into it. Because, like, I don't know, just having, like, a bad guy in a show and then being in the credits, like, that... <laughs> it's so exciting! And again, uh, you know, I'm a broken record here, but where the fuck is Drusilla? I'm, I'm still holding out hope that she will return, but at this pace, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where she is. I really hope they do bring her back because I love her. But I don't know. Kind of looks like a lost cause now. I don't. <laughs> so yeah. Um. And then him in the like underground facility. Like I just love it. And like the whole vibes of it. Like the whole white and the glass. And it just felt so futuristic and cool i just it was yeah <laughs> oh my god i haven't even talked about like actually buffy or anything <laughs> but um <clears throat> yeah buffy this episode i love i love her just being her bad bitch self and like you know standing up for willow it's her teacher and just I don't know she's just rocking it and i love her even her at the beginning like just messy up <laughs> she's an icon and I adore her so much but um yeah we even got Willow which love to see her but I'm also very sad to see her so sad because uh you know girl we've all been going through that shit right now so uh I'm I feel bad for her yeah so when Riley went to Willow and they started talking and they started, you know, just being more chill with each other. And Willow was like, okay, I'll help you. I was so scared that Riley would like switch it up and then start following for Willow. I'm so glad they did not go that route. I hope they continue not going down that route. I just love the whole Willow just losing all faith and love and then being like, yeah, I guess I can help you find love. <laughs> Which, uh, I, I feel that. Um, so yeah, I'm happy for her. She's, you know, just doing her own thing. And, you know, she is still hopeful that Oz is coming back. Which, again, from the title sequence, doesn't look like it'll happen. He could come back for, like, an episode or something, but I don't know. Ugh. So yeah, um, what else? Oh, we also got Xander and Giles' this episode, which... I freaking love. They've done this a couple other times in a couple other episodes this season where Giles and Xander were together and they were like helping each other out with, um, you know, researching and stuff for Buffy. And in this episode, they, you know, kind of did a similar thing where they were researching these guys, but you know, they're not myth mystical creatures, so you can't really research them. And then they went on patrol for Buffy, and of course we got the uh, the scene with Xander and Harmony, which <laughs> very fun to see her again. Um, yeah, <laughs> which um, I wanted to mention Harmony and also the vampire that helped Spike get out um, in that one scene. It is so cool that like they reuse actors and reuse characters like that because. Like, I remember in the first episode of the season, I'm pretty sure, Buffy was fighting against those vampires, one vampire left, and then he got kidnapped by these people, and we were left hanging, and we were like, whoa, that was kind of weird. I kind of assumed they killed him, 
no it came back that was such a cool little thing to be like oh familiar face now i know like it kind of just makes the world a little more cohesive really really cool i don't know just this episode really made me pumped like it was i don't know just the season so far it's just been okay for me and i've been thinking a lot about it like <clears throat> I was even rewatching some of my Buffy talks to like kind of remember some of the other seasons. And I don't know, I remember watching like season two, season three. I was like, holy shit. I hadn't really had that moment in this season, I don't think. This episode, dude. I hope they keep up the momentum and I hope they keep this kind of vibe going because it's they can go so many different directions with it. I'm so excited for it. Oh my god, especially because Spike, he left, he got out, and we don't really know where he went. So, curious to see what that's gonna happen, especially because now he's a season regular! So, like, I, dude, I'm so excited about this. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I never thought I would be this excited about having Spike as a season regular, but I am. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what else I need to say about this episode, really. Um, I don't think I left anything out. I probably did, but I can't remember right now. That's all I gotta say about this episode. Thank you again to all my beautiful patrons over on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!